Good morning and welcome to Morning Manna. Today is Wednesday, January the 24th, 2024, and this is episode 4,241. My name is Bruce Turner. Welcome to today's Morning Manna. Today's episode, my, my, my. My, 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 my. <laughs> Stay tuned. So I'm, I'm just titling this episode, and I'm going to put the title in all the platforms that we share. And the title of this episode is My, My, My. But <laughs> the verse I'm going to share with you today is Psalm 18.2, and the word my occurs not three times, but eight times. Are you ready? The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. (laughs) My, 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 what a great verse that is. And maybe you need that verse today. I know I need that verse today. It is so easy to be distracted by other things going on around us and in us. But listen to this verse again. The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God, my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. When we read the word my in this psalm, it jumps off the page at us, right? This is a very personal psalm as David declares how he feels about his relationship with God. He uses both offensive and defensive military metaphors to describe who God is to him. Obviously, he has saying that the Lord was all he needed to survive life's battles. David described the Lord as his rock, and the concept had much meaning to him. As a shepherd, he knew that often the only place to find relief from the sun in a hot desert was by the shade of a rock. As a man of war, rock represented a stronghold, a place of safety, And as an Israelite, he had been taught since childhood that during the Exodus, the rock represented a place of refreshment. We all need a secure rock in our lives. For some people, their rock is a person like a mother or father. For others, it's not a person but a place the neighborhood where they grew up, or a special place in the mountains, desert, or beach, where they can go when they feel lost and alone and when life gets to be too much. Familiar people, familiar places can make us feel secure, but neighborhoods change and people come and go. We need something or someone more reliable, unchangeable, and powerful. David knew who to make his rock. He had come to trust in the darkest hour that God was the only reliable place for comfort, refuge, and strength. So, again, the Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer, my God my strength in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold, my, my, my. Father, thank you. (laughs) Thank you for giving us this verse today. Help us to live it out, to experience and to enjoy your presence in our lives today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, have a great Wednesday. Till tomorrow morning, this is Bruce reminding you to choose joy.